in this section of the video we would learn about the multiple choice questions uh, in our course how to add that so first of all I would click on h5p you always need to go to h5p.org and there you can create your interactive sessions be it anything so as I already have my account I don't need to I would just directly log in to my account and uh, see this is the place now I have to click on try out h5p tools it would give me different options whatever I want to add in my course see this here it, it was just loading and now as you can see on your screen आप लोग अपनी स्क्रीन पे देख सकते हो कि I've got so many options this is in alphabetical order so whichever you want to choose I want to go to M so I would just go to multiple choice here it is this is multiple choice it has given us a demo as well see this if you want to add a picture and ask question related to that you can do that or if you want to this would appear like this or if you want to just add text and then ask about the multiple choice questions then it will give you this type of interface so now we would just directly use it and close the demo we would just use this one now the title would be multiple they say multiple choice questions uh, we can take it in any way it is related to if it is related to body language same as we had it earlier so first I would type a question body language covers what out of the given options you can rephrase your questions just to add it to you I am giving an option so the text available options which I would be giving it would be facial expressions as it is the correct one I can change it as well if I want to facial expression so this is correct one if this is not the correct one then I would not take here but I am clicking here that means it is correct you can add tips and feedback also if you want to add details about facial expressions and you want to add on to that then this is the column for that now uh, another one I would be adding uh, body language include writing skills writing skills this is not correct I would not take here now I want to add more options because it is multiple choice so I would add one more and that would be gestures so this is also correct one I want to add another option I can add and the, my option would be speaking this is not correct so I would not take it I would add another option and that would be facial expressions have already given now I would give postures so I have given this this is also correct now once you are done if you want to add any score limit so we will add a range here uh, the person would 40% we would take it this way then we will say good luck if the person is uh, from 0 to 40 we would say work hard and if the person scores more than that then we would say congratulations so once you are done with this you have to click on if you want to add one more otherwise you can put a cross here now once you are done once you are done then you have to click on see this is one particular segment which we have uh, chosen if we want uh, more 
titles more questions then we can have it now we would save it this way only so that we can have an idea now it will take a bit of time in loading see now we have this this is only a part of question so body language covers what out of the given options speaking if i tick deliberately i can go there i will check the wrong answer let's see show solution so they have given me an answer with this this one this one was right so now i will retry that and let's see how much i would get postures gestures and facial expressions check so i got congratulations here as i have taken it so you can add more when you go to edit it's not only one question we can give more questions to that as well multiple choice questions multiple choice question if you want to add more you can add on in this this way i can change the question now the title remain the same so here we have another example for multiple choice question if you want to present it with a video and i want it with the portrait of a lady so i would go by this just to save time as i've added it the portrait of a lady and i want to add a media it gives me an option whether i want to take up an image or a video i would go by video we've already had without image or without video we already I had it and now I would like to have it with video now it has given me an option untitled video again I would give the title to this okay the portrait of a lady or I can say any I can sim simply write video here so title is video uh, now I need to upload the process is same for uploading the video whether it was an interactive video or in any sense so here we need to copy the URL so from YouTube to save time I've already taken one video and we will just copy its URL and place it here so here we are going to insert the video now our video is inserted now the questions which I really want to add as a multiple choice question or you can say the questions related to chapter so i have a uh, saved the portrait of a lady worksheet i would take it from there only here it is i would go to the multiple choice question of this and uh, here are the questions so the first question is the portrait of a lady is written by kushwan singh i would take this one what the grandmother used to do in her city see this is a multiple choice question so i would take this one copy and now as i already told you that if you want to paste here for that you need to use the short key yes so how did the grandmother spend her time in the city this is question so we will just delete all the answers which we have got with this we will just delete it again for options I would add here the option portion it will not take it if I will do it with the mouse click but if I use a short key only then it would work so my first answer would be feeding sparrows and I would delete the rest of the answers so next this is correct I would add on to this next again I would use control plus V for my answers this we need to delete next we will go by spinning wheel this is also correct I will go by this add option you can add another option again we would follow the same procedure so in this uh, this answer is 
not correct so you can even delete the numbers if you have I don't want the numbers in front of my answer I will just change it so this is not correct those two were correct now I don't want to add any other option I will directly save this one behavioral settings are always uh, just to add on to enable retry or disable it so this is how it appears like this here is my multiple choice question now the difference is that when in interactive video you use a multiple choice question all the questions all the labels and notes appear here on the screen on your video and the video is paused but here in this multiple choice question what you can do is you can directly place a video and the multiple choice would be here now i will just check whether the answer is correct or not no this is not correct and with sure solution they will give me an answer now i can retry to that they've randomly taken it feeding sparrows and spilling wheel check now my answer is correct see this is how you can present a particular course and multiple choice question so for multiple choice this was the tutorial now if you want to get the feedback from your students and more questions for that you can use the questionnaire aspect of h5p otherwise in a multiple choice questions you don't have the provision to add as many questions as you want to add now we would move on to our next section In this section of the workshop, we would learn how to have a test of your students with single set questions or single choice questions. So first of all, we will see the examples of the same. Here we have an example of single set questions. Here it is. So now this is the example goji berries are known as let's try so it was wrong so i got the solution now again it might be right or wrong see so this is how you can create a set of single choice questions so we would go to our account login and now try out h5p so here we will just search single choice set it would be here <coughs> let's begin single cho choice set questions we have already seen its demo this is how we are going to create the test so now we can use it this is the interface so first of all you would add the title what kind of test it would be or for what purpose you are taking single choice can be I would take it from the portrait of lady or from any chapter question and alternatives so here I would just copy the text from the document which I've already made to save some time now I would just take up this one the portrait of a lady is written by Kushwan Singh let's see so here is the question now I would just delete the rest of the portion this is my question written by whom or if I don't want to add any column I need not next alternative alternative first alternative is the correct one so we would be writing taking Kushwan Singh here so our Kushwan Singh is on the second number we have to delete the other answers because our correct answer is Kushwan Singh so we would be taking that in the front next alternative it can be two choice answer or you can take even the four answers to that 
now I can so Raja Rao is the second now I want to add another answer so I would be again hoping the I can take four answers or three mm. answers as per my choice I want to take Krishwan Singh as I've already taken it so now I don't want to add any other answer now another question I would be taking so from here I would take in the village the grandmother used to feed dogs, sparrows, cows and we would be <coughs> copying the text from here I would paste it here so my question is paste it successfully here I would add so the alternate first, first alternative is the correct one in this you are given this choice that your first option should be the correct one so I will delete the rest since in village grandmother used to feed dogs so that is a correct answer now we would be deleting the three okay now I'm left with sparrows if you want to add another answer you can but I don't want to we can add another question let's see we can make a test of free the portrait of a lady has been written in which mode let's see I would copy the text so the process as you can see is same just a bit of concentration is required what type of question we want to give all are useful so alternate answer would be it is in the biographical note so I would go by the correct answer here and now this is the correct answer you can add an alternative to that so scientific mode we would we could go by that here I would delete this one and rest of the two options so now I want to add range to that okay I would add it 60% I would say good or if a person scores more than that congratulations if you want to change any behavioral settings you can time out on correct answers in milliseconds okay there is a time enabled if you don't if you want to make any changes you can enable sound effects enable retry button enable show solution button so I would go by the default settings only now I would save the settings let's see how our test appears so here comes our test the portrait of a lady is written by Kushwan Singh so this is correct answer now next one in the village the grandmother used to feed dogs okay this is also correct one it takes a bit of time the portrait of a lady has been written in okay I would deliberately choose the wrong answer and let's see what would appear as a result so we had three C two correct one wrong congratulations since I have scored more than 60 percent this is how this test is going to appear now once you are done with your tests or once you are done with your work what you can do is either come here pick this one the latest which you have made and embed click here this link will help you uh, to assign this test to your students so you need to embed it first and share this particular link copy this and then you can share this link with your students through any social media site so it would be embed in this way right so this is the test you have made and now you can you are able to share it with your students that's it for 
this particular set of questions